call mainstream America deplorables. Hey, Sean, everywhere we go, music for the people, making music for the people. Hey, Sean. They call us extreme. Haters of the Constitution and the rule of law. Everywhere we go, they shot Everywhere we go. <laughs> now, the James A. Hendrick School of Leadership is here to talk the, the news and matters of public affairs. I was originally going to title this uh, episode, Government is the Problem. But, after doing some research, <laughs> Biden said some stuff that really stirs my soul. Now, I am not going to take it as far as some political talk shows. Because, listen to me, I still believe that America is the bastion of hope. Too many, I mean, even, even some political talk shows now they, that I admire, they're using gloom and doom. And I'm going to tell you something right now. I'm going to tell you something right now. This is one dude that graduated from Texas Tech University that is in talk, podcasting, Reckham Tech, that believes that there's still hope for this Republican. For this Republic, if we seem to do what's right. All right? Now listen. This show is called MAGA Conservative. And you guys know the reason why. I've said this at the beginning of my show, and, and I believe it. I am a conservative federalist. Some people say, well, you're a libertarian. No. There's some libertarian platform things that I don't stand for. There's some that I like, yeah. I'll be honest with you. But I kind of like to give myself the own label. Conservative Federalist. And some people got some stupid ideas of what that is. L listen to Biden's speech, okay? Listen to me. Listen to Biden's speech. Here we go, President Biden. My fellow Americans, <clears throat> please, if you it's have a seat. His voice. Thank you. I speak to you tonight <clears throat> from sacred ground in America, Independence Hall in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Nelson Florence Ward. This is where America made its declaration of independence to the world more than two centuries ago <clears throat> with an idea unique among nations that in America, we're all created equal. This is where the United States Constitution was written and debated. This is where we set in motion the most extraordinary experiment of self-government the world has ever known. With three simple words, we the people, we the people, these two documents and the ideas they embody. Stop the tape. We the people. You notice it's kind of in red? Okay, this is craziness, okay? The, 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 the backdrop where Biden is speaking at the Independence Hall of Philadelphia is, 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 is covered in red. Now, I want you, I want you to take a look at this, this metaphorically, some of the stuff he's about to say. Equality and democracy are the rock upon which this nation is built. They're how we became the greatest nation on earth. There are why, for more than two centuries, America has been a beacon to the world. But as I stand here tonight, equality and democracy are under assault. Excuse me. The founding fathers collectively said we are not a democracy. We are not to become a democracy. I wonder what Joe Biden studied in college. Did he ever talk on the door of a political theory course? <laughs> Take an ancient medieval political theory. I'll tell you right now. I'll tell you right now. I'll tell you right now. This is the forge because we are not to be 
a democracy in a purest form. We are a republic. Have my po- political uh, political theory professor say that. And guess what? His rules were in his classroom. You leave your ideology to the door. None of this distractive, defiant crap. Listen, what this, listen to what uh, Soso has to say. We do ourselves no favor to pretend otherwise. So tonight, I've come to this place where it all began to speak as plainly as I can to the nation about the threats we face, about the power we have in our own hands to meet these threats, and about the incredible future that lies in front of us if only we choose it. Doesn't that sound like the viewer? Don't it sound like Il Duque? Or Soso? Maybe Soso. I never heard Stalin speak. Listen to this. We must never forget, we the people are the true heirs of the American experiment that began more than two centuries ago. We the people have burning inside of each of us the flame of liberty that was lit here at Independence Hall. A flame that lit our way through abolition, the Civil War, suffrage, the Great Depression, world wars, civil rights. That sacred flame still burns. Now in our time, flickering, as we build an America that is more prosperous, free and just, Inflation? <laughs> Come on, guys. The president needs to look at the average grocery bill of families. Even even a little, you know, fixed income, single guy like me. Can't he see what the figures are? Oh, no, I forgot. His, his, his brain is made of melted clay. That is the work of my presidency, a mission I believe in with my whole soul. But first, we must be honest with each other and with ourselves. Too much of what's happening in our country today is not normal. Donald Trump and the MAGA Republicans represent an extremism that threatens the very foundations of our republic. I want to be very clear. Republic. They said teensy bit the truest thing he's ever said. Am I the Republicans? Not all MAGA people are Republicans nationally in the truest form. Because there are some, there's some Republicans that don't necessarily vote the MAGA conservative way. And so, guess what? <laughs> I, I was going to talk about, you know, government is the problem. No, I'm going to call this MAGA conservative, okay? Listen to this. This is more of his, his drivel. Very clear up front. Not every Republican, not even the majority of Republicans are MAGA Republicans. Not every Republican embraces their extreme ideology. I know, because I've been able to work with these mainstream Republicans. But there's Mainstream. Mainstream? Mainstream. <laughs> I want to laugh from being an idiot. You know, I talk to friends from, from church and in my neighborhood. And most of the people, and even, even uh, you know, my best friend's wife. He can tell because of, she can tell because of, of uh, she, meaning she, traditional meaning of marriage here. Craig Principles, she who supported Biden realizes now because of inflation that it's a mistake. No question that the Republican Party today is dominated, driven, and intimidated by Donald Trump and the MAGA Republicans. And that is a threat to this country. These are hard things. Really? But I'm an American president. Not a president of red America, blue America, 
but of all America. And I believe it's my duty, my duty to level with you, to tell the truth, no matter how difficult, no matter how painful. And here, in my view, is what is true. MAGA Republicans do not respect the Constitution. They do not believe... Excuse me? Excuse me? The election of 2020. I'm going to be honest with you. I saw that map. Most of it was red. But the thing I learned from, from a news writing course is that sometimes some journalists believe, oh, it's okay to fudge the numbers. It pollsters and big corporations. I mean, large corporates. I'm not against all corporations. The, the, the small corporations, you know, the entrepreneurs that are working out of their own homes or, or you know, a co-worker space, God bless you. You're the lifeblood of this economy. But this dude is all wet. In the rule of law, they did not recognize the will of the people. They refused to accept the results of a free election. And they're working right now, as I speak, in state after state, to give power to decide elections in America to partisans and cronies, empowering election deniers. Excuse me? All right, look, I'm not going to talk anymore about 2020. And you know what? I am done. Listen, listen. I am done talking about this dribble. Let's go forward. Okay, so you've heard what I've had to talk about. The problem is the media and, and, and I'm going to go up, up to both sides. I'm sorry. I'm going to go up to both sides here. Too much of the media is, is inflaming things. Listen to me, I'm a devout Christian. And there are some, as a conservative, there are some uh, sources that I can trust. Uh, Newsmax is one of those, you know, no doubt. But, we need balance. I don't think we should necessarily trust, you know, TV media alone. Or, or, or radio, or, or even the show. I think we need to raise a society that will be thoughtful readers readers leaders let me tell you something one thing I learned about is the gatekeeper theory of mass media guys if you're out there maybe you're starting a podcast like this and, and, and you'd like to know more about how I view consumption of the news and I try to do it in some ways that I am not overwhelmed when I do get overwhelmed, I tend to take a break. But uh, the good news is there is to be no breaks until around sometime in December. That's right, guys. You're, you're stuck with me. You're stuck with me. But this fall, um, Jesus and Thursdays, with maybe some rare exceptions, like uh, the 15th. I'll be taking a break from the fifteenth and um, and and take care of some um, some 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 news analysts. <sighs> Guys, I really don't know what to say. I'm I'm sorry that everything is so inflamed. Both sides are doing it to try to drum out drum out the vote. I'm just trying to tell you guys, go out and brush your conscience. Join me and be a MAGA conservative, okay? Don't be so quick to, to necessarily get yourself labeled. You're a MAGA, you're a MAGA, you're a MAGA conservative. All right then. <sighs> Guys, I want you to get ready for our next seg- segment that's coming in a bit. This is the James A. Hendrick School of Government, and we're we're going to talk about some serious issues. Biden says we're prosperous. I'm afraid not, guys. Let's get this.
Hey guys, Ryan, hi. I gotta tell you. And, um, yeah. <laughs> Sometimes technology don't work the way you want. Now, let's get to this piece of the American thinker. Money troubles in the, th in the Fed, okay? Now, I'm uh, trying to use the screen magnifier and it keeps popping up bad, so. Uh, all of these stupid ads that keep me from reading this. By Christopher, uh, Christopher, uh, Chandler, whatever it is. I know that I should be doing a, uh, What in the world? Let's talk some of... Uh, let's... Wait. I'm reading the piece right now. And I gotta say, this is bad public affairs writing. Looks more like a dang blog. Okay, no doubt there are many problems in the feds. I don't know where the author of this piece is coming from. And you know what? This happened in 1994, if I remember correctly. I was in college around this time. And Alan Greenspan decided, you know what? We need to increase interest rates. He's like, increase interest rates? People are like, oh, no, don't do that. You'll crash the stock market. I had a fifth grade as a uh, a sixth grade a fifth grade teacher. I had now. I'm not going to use uh, um, the official name she had at school. I'm going to use a pseudonym, you know, to to kind of public affairs etiquette. Unless the person verifies and everything, Mrs. Talmadge. We're going to call her Mrs. Talmadge. She says, "No, don't do that. You crash the stock market." Okay. I'm not saying do it just for the heck of it. Raising interest rates is to guard against inflation. Okay, come on. Any college student who has taken at least macroeconomics. <laughs> I tell you something, I'm ready to create a, a ma I'm ready to talk something about macroeconomics and public affairs. I'm kind of studying on YouTube, this playlist of uh, uh, macroeconomics anyway, and i tell you something, it is something. It is something, and I know, what can I say? We do have many problems. The problem is, uh, I don't think there are very many uh, writers that cover the news nowadays. Do it in such a way that people can be well, decently informed. And I believe in being decently informed. We're talking about money. Uh, he was talking about money in the feds. And I'm one of those ones from, 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 uh, from news writing. Draw people in with the first five, uh, the first five words. My say I was doing a blog about the money problem with the Fed. I would have gotten my fa facts straight. And then the Fed chairman blah 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 said, you know, suggested blah 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 blah. You know, raise interest rates or whatever. You know, right now it seems like the Biden and the Fed's kind of like 
do nothing. And they're kind of like that, they kind of like that, the, the doldrums, you know, the dig dum, dig dum, dig dum, do nothing. <laughs> <laughs> what can I say? I'm all alone here. And, and, and why are we floating around? Biden says, oh, we're prosperous. We're prosperous. Really? He has that nice little uh, White House mansion to live in. You know, gets to, gets to have a house on you know, his his quarters on the, set, on the second floor, being waited on by, by servants and stuff, having all those wonderful meetings with people. He says we're prosperous. You know, he's got to be hearing from his advisors that things aren't so good. Unless, you know, they know that his brain is kind of like farted out, rotted out, melted clay. <laughs> Forgive me, dude. I'm just... I'd much rather laugh about this than be angry. That's why I suspended for a time in August was because I was starting to get angry. And when you're angry, that no good. You hear me? That no good. No, you no good, no. <laughs> so now you hear me. Now you hear me, okay? Listen to me. We don't want to play games anymore. You know... Ooh-wee, Forceville, the flakes are good. Really? Well, why don't we take a journey into Fartville? Why not? Now, take tunes for the behind the scenes in Fartville. <laughs> hey, Gary, how's it going, man? <laughs> and dang grocery bill just went up. How much? It was 88 last year. Now it's 159 dang dollars to feed me and 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 Merlin and the two kids. I feel like sometimes I just gotta shoot squirrel just so my kids can eat. Yeah, man, I tell you something. Did you see that speech? What speech? Biden saying we're prosperous. I'd like to see him come here. Why? Man, the way he's trying to make it, I can't even afford a dang gun. Have to get a flintlock to do it, you know? Flintlock to, to, to shoot the squirrel. I know, I know. <laughs> hey, it's okay. We'll learn. Ain't that the truth? Stay tuned next time and fuck you. Okay, guys. I hope you enjoyed listening to James Hendricks' show. Please subscribe to, to James Hendricks' A. Hendricks' School Leadership. Please subscribe. Become a part of our movement. You guys take care, okay? Be properly informed. I'll see you for Public Affairs Thursday. God bless you.